everybody welcome back to another video on barbed wire outdoors i'm austin um and today i just wanted to make a video about you know you're going to get your first gun but you're not 100 percent sure what kind of gun that you know you should go with and i'm gonna you know try to make it as short and sweet as possible just kind of get to the point um and kind of go over some of the things that i've kind of experienced through my time and everything dealing with firearms and stuff like that um, but you know, you go, you're not sure what, what kind of gun you should go with. And my philosophy is start with what's most important to you. And what I mean by that is what is the application that you're looking to use it for? Um, for example, my Glock 19, um, this is my concealed carry. Um, I have this one, it's small enough to be my concealed carry, but for me, it also doubles as being um, a range gun. It's small enough to be able to conceal, but it's also big enough and has enough capacity for me to be a, you know, a range gun that I can put in a holster on my duty belt and go out to the range and train with it. Um, and then after that, while doing you know, the range stuff, I have my AR-15, which works great for, you know, more of the tactical application. Um, I carry an M4 every day at work. So, uh, you know, I'm kind of around the, uh, kind of around this kind of platform every single day. So it's something I've kind of fallen in love with as most people have. I wouldn't say most, a lot of people have. Um, it's a great platform to run quite well. Um, but yeah, I've got this one for my more of like tactical training sense. I've got my um, my Remington 870 shotgun for uh, hunting, for bird hunting, you know, duck, goose, dove, quail, uh, quail, you know, anything like that that I need it for. But then I also... But then I also have my compound bow, which I technically ain't a firearm, but it's making the point for this video. Um, I strictly use a compound bow for deer hunting. Um, I don't use a rifle. I just, a bow works better for me. And I have a video that I'm planning on making about why I hunt with a bow over why, you know, why I choose not to hunt with a rifle. But... Um, so I have this one for deer hunting. And then I also have my AR-10 for uh, long range hunting. Or not long range hunting, uh, long range shooting, sorry. You know, my AR-15, I could hit comfortably out to, you know, 400, 500 yards-ish, um, maybe more on a good day. But this one I can sit comfortably out at, you know, a thousand, 1200 yards and be perfectly fine and be able to get those longer shots that I can't get with my AR-15. Plus it's fun for me to just go out and, you know, shoot some steel at long ranges. But as you can see, I've got a different type of gun for each of the applications that I want. I've got one for long range. I've got one for my Concealed carry and range gun. I've got one for my, you know, range training with my AR. Um, I've got one for duck hunting or bird hunting. I've got one for deer hunting. Each of those applications, you know, before I bought it, I thought about, hey, what do I want out of that firearm? Uh, what am I looking to do with it? And another one of the things is for me, you know, this is just for me just me you do you know if your budget and your finances allow for it you do it mine don't technically don't necessarily not but it's you know for me it's just kind of easier and it gives me less stuff to kind of have to keep up with but this is just for me I only have one of each type I don't, me personally, I don't need, you know, two concealed carries. I don't need two guns for long range. I, you know, I don't need two ARs. Just 
that's just for me. You do whatever your heart feels like, you know, it wants to do. I can't tell you what you can and can't do. The basis of this video is before, you know, if you're not sure which firearm to buy, kind of take it to heart, figure out what you want to do with the firearm. And whatever firearm, you know, style and type would work best for that application, go with that. And then for the next gun that you get, you could kind of work down the list of, you know, okay, maybe I've got my, my hunting gun. That was like my main one that I wanted. But now I kind of want to go, you know, to the range and just kind of shoot a little bit. Do, you know, do some fun stuff shooting. So maybe you'd get an AR. Or, you know, I want to get into, you know, long range shooting next. So, you know, you might go get one of the uh, Bagaras or Atikers, something like that. Just kind of an example of stuff. Just kind of think about it, figure out what's most important to you and, you know, what you're looking to do with that firearm before you go buy one. But, that concludes this video. Um, if you liked the video and you want to see more content kind of like this, um, I finally just got a you know wireless mic so I can actually get up and move around and not have to do anything. Um, so oh, some of my future videos, a lot, most of my future videos, I plan on actually being up and around, kind of make it more interactive. I know it's probably boring for me to you know for you to watch it like this, but um, if you've liked the video and you like content like this. Um, like the video, subscribe to the channel, uh, comment down in the comment section below um, kind of about what your philosophies are when you're buying guns, um, whether it be by all of them. I wish I could do that, but, you know, whether it be by all of them or if you have to kind of pick and choose sometimes, uh, just drop that down in the comment section below. And make sure to hit that bell uh, notification for future videos that I upload. And uh, until next time, I love you, God loves you, and y'all have a great day.